Hey everyone, it's Victoria Arnstein, and I'm very proud to be wearing my Boston Marathon jacket 2013. Michael and I, my husband, known as the Fruitarian, uh, ran this race, and he ran it with me for the first time, my first time, his 18th time, and uh, it was nice of him to run it with me. He's usually an hour and a half ahead of my time, but he uh, ran it with me this time, and we had crossed the finish line 10 minutes before this bomb incident happened. We were down the block, and uh, we saw all the commotion. It was very scary, it, to say the least. It was it was just panic, you know, ensued because we didn't know when it was going to hit next, and um, it was just craziness. The uh, clock said 3:57. Uh, you know, when I when I saw my pictures. And the clock went off. It, it said also during the bombing, 4.09. But my watch said 4.16 when I crossed the finish. So I don't know. Either either time I'm grateful. I'm grateful to be here in one piece. Um, hugged my kids so tight after, after I came home. It was a big ordeal. The people we stayed with were amazing. Out in Hopkinton, uh, we, we hopped on a train. And they picked us up from the, sta the station. Then we got back to New York. And it was just... Chaos, mayhem, and my heart goes out to all the victims and the people that are part of it and the people that were with the victims and anybody who's affected by this. My heart is out to you. I just, um, I have a little bit of guilt also for coming back in one piece, you know, like why not me? And um, it makes me cry. I break out in tears when I think about it. It's just really heart-wrenching. This is a race that I've always dreamed about doing as a runner. You know, it's the pinnacle of races, and I dreamed about this race. I wouldn't even wear my husband's 18 jackets or 17 jackets uh, because I wanted to earn it. And I finally did. I qualified for this race, and um, a year and a half in, because they had uh, already filled up and I missed the cutoff, I made the race and by around six minutes. In fact, it was a race that I didn't think I could ever get into because they raised the standards to get in another five minutes and my husband even said to me, sorry, you're probably never going to do this race. And I finally qualified. It was I was elated. It was like one of the best days of my life and at the Asbury Marathon. I did a 3.39 and it was qualifying time. I was, I was thrilled because my time before there was a 354 and I couldn't crack it, you know. But uh, my diet on fruits and vegetables got me lighter and more clear and more vibrant and I was, you know, I was really right on. I was in the best shape ever. It was a week after I did Chicago, that Asbury Marathon. Anyway, back to Boston. Um, now that I wear this with pride, it means so much more to me. And there are so many what-its that could have happened. I, I was this close to bringing my children. I uh, didn't walk, which is ironic because I was supposed to walk at least a half a mile. I've been injured with tendonitis, a pelvis uh, fracture, pelvis stress fracture, a little fracture in my uh, foot, and I ran through the entire thing. So, really, I didn't know I was running for my life at the time, but I really feel like I was watched over. I'm grateful to whomever, whatever, you know, angels were above me and around me and just, I mean, I didn't feel my legs after mile 16. I was kind of buckled up and, you know, drinking Gatorade to save my life at that point. Um, but I did it most, I did it on dates and Gatorade and that was my fuel of choice. And it just felt very hopeless at the end when I heard the explosions and just sadness anger, sadness, but you know, runners, we persevere, we're going to keep on going. We really, we're good people, you know, we run for causes, we run for people, we run. We just run, we, running is a real, it's the real deal, you know, it's, it's you, it's heart and soul, and uh, the people in Boston, the spectators were amazing, I mean, just amazing, I just can't believe, I kept saying it too, you know, and I'm from New York, where I do New York Marathon, and Boston was really up there, and I just hope that this doesn't ruin any chances of them going back next year. I mean, I 
I mean, now that we've got the bad guys, I just hope that everything is is stronger than ever. Uh, I know that London, my friends ran London, it was uh, very strong with the spectators and uh, thumbs up to them for getting out there, no matter what, no matter what. So here we are, um, Michael and I, living proof that, uh, you know, sometimes bad stuff happens, but sometimes you get through, you know, bad times. I don't know what else to say. I really don't. I, I'm, I'm just lucky. I'm lucky, you know? And uh, I really, I, my heart goes out to all the victims and the people that are were helping out, you know, those first responders. I was panicking, you know, I ran because I, I couldn't even run after the race. Michael told me to run for my life. I, I didn't know what to do. I panicked. My legs were killing me. And I had to run. And I think, kept thinking about my children. You know, what I mean, two parents. I had to get back. So... My apologies to um, the victims for not helping out. I was a block away and I panicked. All right. Thank you.